Hi Cancer and welcome to your tarot reading. All right guys, so we are just gonna do a little bit of a quick reading today. Um, we're gonna take a look at your past, present, future, the energy of you, your love interest, and your career. So let's see for the past, what can we get for Cancer? Past energy for Cancer. So we have the moon for your past, present energy for Cancer. Ooh, it's this one. Ooh, uh, the Eight of Swords. All right, you guys. And the future energy for Cancer. Ah, so something is being revealed, something that you already knew, and now you don't know what to do. You're stagnant, you're stuck. There's one thing feeling like something's off and it's another when you find out it really is off. You might have found out in a way where the person doesn't know you found out yet and you're not sure what to do. Yeah, in the future, you're going to be putting up your defenses, standing up for yourself, standing up for what you deserve. You're going to be speaking up for whatever it is you're holding on to. Ooh, hoo -hoo, yeah, because at the bottom of the deck here, somebody definitely had betrayed you. There was somebody who you found out their truth, the truth about this person you found out the true motives of this person, you had already known, you had already intuitively felt, but you wanted to believe that this person wasn't like the rest. Some of you, I'm hearing that this could have very well been a roommate or a family member. It doesn't have to be related to your love because this is your energy, right? This isn't love career. This is really just you, what is going on within you. All right, so let's look at the love energy so cancer's past love energy please past love energy for cancer past love energy for cancer the queen of wands present love energy for cancer two of pentacles in reverse ah so if you were in a third party situation you didn't get chose or somebody said they were going to leave the person they were with and they didn't and you're now finding this out here you definitely were on top at one point but it doesn't look like that happened um that that is what it didn't doesn't look like you ended up on top with this person at the end of the day i'm seeing that you are on top actually because this person isn't who you're truly meant to be with um you are pretty much saved by the universe it's a blessing in disguise so future energy for cancer's love future energy for cancer's love this spread the world yeah an ending an ending a relationship is coming to an end the truth is coming out this spread came to me wow because of the devil look at this this is amazing to be honest this spread just came to me in a dream and i woke up and i wrote it down on a little piece of paper as well as frisky fridays you guys so i started frisky fridays on instagram it's going to be um a quick reading related to your love interest it's going to be all signs so on Fridays, we're just going to do, we're just going to do a frisky reading. Um, and I call out, I meditate on all of my Instagram followers. Whoever needs the messages the most are the ones that are going to receive the messages. And um, it's just a look at your love life. Usually it'll give you some tips, some advice, some things that you need to know, your person's kinks, what they like in bed, you know, just uh, anything related to that. But this is really working. This spread is like really, it's all like looking like the same story, to be completely honest. Because look at this, the devil, the five of swords, both for the bottom of the deck. Somebody that has, you know, to be honest, this person probably wanted to leave somebody for you, but they couldn't because you are the better option, but they're tied. They have a karmic tie. You cannot break free of a karmic tie if it hasn't been complete, right? So this person, it's either that or they have these devil tendencies, which you are in this energy of being more evolved and this person is going to drag you down. Look, they already have you in this energy where you're questioning yourself when you started off as the queen of wands the queen of wands does not question herself so it has to be a five of swords devil energy to make you question yourself to make you question your worth but at the end of the day in the future you're going to say no i am not questioning myself for a nobody you're going to put your guard back up you're going to protect your energy and you're going to complete this cycle and you're going to uh, start on a new cycle as the fool which is going to make you feel more confident more secure all right let's see and this is um, this is so cute. One of you guys got me this. I have a list um, in the description box below. So for those of you guys that want to donate to the channel, I did leave a list of tarot decks that I'm interested in. 
there somebody told me once that if you get a deck as a gift it is a lot better than if you get uh get it for yourself my sister got me one of my first decks last year and i used that deck more than i've ever used any deck so i created a list of decks that i like because it is way more powerful when you use a deck that you've been gifted with and um some of you guys had already gotten me them so thank you all of you guys who have gotten me one but this is just one of the ones that one of you guys got me and it's just so cute just i love these and i love you guys so much so yeah if you're interested in donating to the channel then that list will be in the description box below and i thank you in advance all right so let's see what can we get for oh ace of swords yeah ace of swords in the past this is so cute it's like the big it's like the oversized the regular and the mini original tarot so that's why i was like what could deck or what spread could i create with these three anyways all right present energy present oh wow present career energy for cancer present energy related to career and finances some of you in the past just got clear on what your soul's purpose was your life purpose yes and now look at you working towards that goal yes manifesting it building your empire my mentor you know who made me everything that i am has a big part to do with everything that i am um is actually a cancer so future future energy future elon musk is a cancer too future energy for um oh oh yes you guys i don't know what this is but yes 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 amazing at the bottom yes at the bottom of the deck the emperor you guys those of you guys that have an idea to become um if you had an idea in the past whatever idea you've been sitting on that you have not been taking action towards especially if it is related to you changing your field or you going off and being an entrepreneur take that first step today baby because guess what also shopify has uh 90 days i'm not like i don't work with them but like i'm trying to my personal Instagram is for those of you that are wanting to start YouTube channels, businesses, if you're interested in fashion, anything like that, I have advice. It's just a, I'm working towards becoming a motivational speaker. So if you want to follow me on there, that, um, that'll be in the description box below. And I do give out tips and information on, you know, platforms that I use and pretty much everything that I've used to create this business. And I'm starting a new one. So I will be sharing that process with you on that channel so that it will be in the description box below if you want to follow me there. But one thing that I did share recently was that uh, Shopify has a 30 day sale or a 30 day uh, free trial and they're extending it to 90 days. So if you are, you know, wanting to start your business, try now because you have 90 days to practice, you know, creating your website or to perfect your website or to even, you know, have your website up without even having to pay for it. So that could be something that motivates you to just kind of start now. But yeah, with the Ace of Swords, there's some sort of idea that you've been sitting on. And for some of you in the past, you just recently got this idea. And it's like you are finally putting that plan into action in this present moment. If you haven't, this is your yes. This is your go-to. This is you being confirmed that absolutely you need to take that idea and start working on it. Because look at that. Look how you go from the Ace to the Eight automatically. It's something that is your destiny. You have been aligned with your soul's purpose. If there is something that keeps coming to you intuitively, think back to this relationship let's go back here because this is exactly what i saw with you guys you knew but you didn't make a move you knew but you kept yourself stuck and then you found out the truth and you had to stand up for yourself right but you already knew you already knew that this person was betraying you You knew that there was somebody around you that was betraying you you knew there was somebody around you that was you know toxic and eventually you had to listen to your intuition just like with this, if there's something that keeps coming to you intuitively, it is for a reason. It is because it is something that is warning you or it is something that you need to really take into consideration and make actions towards. So whatever this business idea is, turns you into a success because look at what you have here in the future. You're celebrating this. You're being celebrated. You're being rewarded for all of your hard work. All of the hard work that you're putting behind the scenes is now being celebrated in public. Some of you guys are going to have some sort of launch that is going to be so successful, so successful. One other thing I'm going to do on my business Instagram is I'm going to um, post like once a month where people can write their small businesses and my picture so that we can all share each other's businesses and um, YouTube, Instagram, stuff like that. People that are trying to grow their platforms, because I do think that it's very important for us to all support one another. 
Um, but yeah, amazing. Because you know what, guys? When it comes to you, you're finally standing up for yourself, standing in your power, and it's leading you towards focusing instead of more on love, more on your career. When it comes to your relationship, you're getting out of a tough situation and ending that cycle so that you can start something new. And then when it comes to your career, it's like you're finally taking action because for some of you, this person was the thing that was keeping you stuck. You were so stressed out about the relationship with this person that you weren't able to move forward. You weren't able to do what it was that you needed to do. Now that this person is gone, you can think clearly, you can take action towards what you've always wanted to do. And it is gonna be a huge success because your best cards, all these cards are quite complicated, but when it comes to your career, it is straightforward. Victory, an idea bringing victory and clarity into your life. You're gonna start working on this right now or you're already working on this. And in the future, it is absolutely gonna be celebrated. The overall energy is you becoming the emp emperor, which means that you are going to be the boss here. You are going to be recognized for your skills, recognized for your services. You are gonna come out on top here. Absolutely amazing. It doesn't matter how many people do what it is that you do. You know, what's something that everybody does? Seems like everybody wants to be a tarot reader these days. So, you know, tarot reading because so many people are tarot readers now it's absolutely insane if you were on youtube like two years ago it was not even three years ago was like there was like 20 readers like 100 readers i don't even know barely many but if you see now it's like every day there's like a thousand people like starting their new accounts and stuff like that but it does not matter how many people are doing what it is that you do everybody does something in their own unique way and if it is something that is aligned with you if there's something that is your path and your purpose it doesn't matter who, you know, who does it, how many people do it, you're going to do it in your way and you're going to be recognized and noticed for the way that you do it. So don't let the fact that there are multiple people already doing whatever this idea is, um, hold you back. Don't let anything hold you back because you are the emperor. I love this for you guys. I am actually in love with this reading. I'm so happy. So yeah, we did the career part first. Wasn't expecting. I'm a career crazy woman. So I kind of got crazy when I saw the cards, but let's take a look at you quickly and then we'll take a look at your present. So when it comes to you, we have the moon and the past. So you were keeping yourself stuck. You were keeping yourself in illusions. You weren't really moving forward uh, from situations. You wanted to be comfortable instead of going out of your comfort zone even if you it's kind of this energy where even if you knew that you would be successful moving forward either away from a relationship away from a career whatever the case may be it could even be an actual move but you just wanted to be comfortable so you kind of got used to a certain setting of a way of things being and you were just like you know what we'll just kind of we'll kind of lay in this we'll lay low in this we'll you know we're built we've built a nest here we're comfortable here we could be more comfortable over there but we're comfortable here so you know what i mean i feel like you kind of settled uh but i don't think you realized that you were settling in, in this energy here but the truth is being revealed here you are coming out into your own shell coming out of your own shell Tuning back into your intuition, right, guys? Present energy is the Eight of Swords here. So whatever was hidden, whatever that you were trying to figure out, because some of you, this is you guys, like if you see this moon, it's like, I see it as like the thinking moon, you know? You were trying to figure something out. You were trying to call upon your guides. You were trying to work with the moon. You were trying to, you know, call in your intuition to try and figure out what was hidden, what was wrong. Why do I feel weird? What is this weird feeling? And then now in this present moment here, some of you guys here, you are either finding out exactly what it is and you feel stuck like you can't move because you're just so shocked as, as to what it was. Because for some of you with this moon energy, it could have been that you were in an illusion, right? You had no idea what was actually going on. Like some of you guys fully knew, but others of you were completely blindsided, blindsided by whatever this was. And now you are just stuck because you don't know what to do. Like you don't know to, how, you know, how to act. Should you act in a good way? Should you act in a bad way? You have no idea. You have absolutely no idea what it is that you're supposed to do. So you're just kind of stuck. You're just kind of standing there. Others of you here, this is fear um, of the unknown, right? Knowing that you have to completely go into a new path, but you're unsure as to should you or should you not. Um, when is the right time? There, know that there's no perfect time. I Lately, the one thing I've been trying to do is every time I think of something, doing it right then and there and not really putting it off because the more you put it off, then you put it off again, you put it off again, you put it off again, and then you just end up getting frustrated and stressed out. 
deal with things as they come towards you. All right. And then in the future, we have the Seven of Wands. So whatever it was that was keeping you stuck, you are no longer stuck. For others of you, this could be that you've intuitively known for a very long time that you want to start a business or that you want to do this, that, and this when it comes to your career, but you've kept yourself stuck due to fear, due to fear of, you know, failure, fear of success, whatever it may be, right? Um, fear of failure, fear of success, they are just as, you know, intense, but fears are illusions. And it's like you're literally ripping those blindfolds off and taking action. Like, look at you. Completely like dominating the force here this is you know especially if you were scared of competition this is you coming out on top this is every single thing that was tying you up making you feel chained it's coming at you head on and you coming right back at it even stronger even stronger even more powerful and even more forceful it's that energy where you get so freaking tired of being held back that you just snap and you just completely go off and that is the energy that you're going to be embracing in the future. It's fearless. Whatever was, some of you guys, that you're actually going to be conquering all of your fears so that you have nothing to hold you back. And you're just going to be able to go through things relentlessly because you have nothing holding you back anymore. You're going to push through all of the obstacles. You have what it takes. All right. So when it comes to your love, we have the Queen of Wands in the past. I feel like with the Queen of Wands, um, you guys felt a lot more confident in the past than you felt right now when it comes to your relationship, especially if you were talking to somebody, you're not really in a relate. Well, some of you are in a relationship, you've been in the relationship and it kind of feels stagnant now, but like right now you may be on the fence. Like, should you break up with this person? Should you stay? Like, you don't really even know. But back then you felt very confident. You knew where your relationship was going. You saw a future with this person. You saw so much growth, so much light within this connection, so much happiness. And you felt like you were very powerful. Like you felt like this person was very drawn to you, very alert by you. Um, but it's kind of like now in the present moment here with the two of pentacles, some of you might've found out that you were in a third party situation here. Some of you might've found out that um, this person had lied to you about their finances. This person had, you know, sometimes people like to pretend that they are more than they are in order to impress people. And I don't think that this person realized by like, they judge you by your outer appearance, but they didn't realize that you don't care about superficial things. Yeah, you built a nice life for yourself. Yeah, you look good. Yeah, this, that, and that. But you don't really care about those things when it comes to another person. And this person might have judged that and they might have lied about their finances, you know, lied about the job that they had, things like that. And it's like whatever this person was lying about, some of you, this person, you know, wanted something casual. They didn't expect to get serious and they ended up getting serious. And now you're finding out that this person actually has another family. You know, it's either a third party situation or they lied about their finances or they're just that type of person where once they, you know, have something, they completely stop trying. It's like they completely drop the ball and you no longer feel special with this individual. In the future, you end it because you're realizing that the cycle is complete. There's no more to learn from this person. There's no more happiness that you can have. And for some of you, it's like this person, you've given them so many times, so many chances, and they're never going to learn their lesson. So you're just going to end the situation because you're realizing that you're only hurting yourself by staying with this individual. But every time there's an ending, there's a new start. And this, this, um, you know, this relationship does not seem like it's something that's making you happy in the first place. So it's like you might as well just end it because you're giving yourself the freedom to you know attract something new to have something new to have something better than what this person is giving you the devil card here it is going to be a little bit harder than you expect though because i do some of you i do feel like um there is going to be somebody coming in to help you somebody that's going to come in to make it a little bit easier for you to be able to move on from this person but i do feel like there is this devil energy here where you know you feel very tied to this person but it's for all the wrong reasons it's almost like they have you in some sort of fantasy land and with the five of wands here um or the five of swords coming in in your energy make sure that you're not self-sabotaging yourself make sure that you're not holding yourself back um and make sure that the people around you want the best for you because i do see a lot of success coming for your career make sure that the people that are celebrating your success are the ones that were there with you throughout the hard times not the ones that had 
you know, not been there for you, but you've been there for them, really try and make things more equal, more balanced out. And pull back your energy from certain people where you feel like you're giving more and you may notice how many people that you thought had your back actually didn't but at the end of the day with this world energy I do know that you are completing a lot of cycles a lot of karmic lessons that are going to ultimately lead you into this you know I'm kind of sensing the new year this is a timeless reading but I am sensing the energy of this new year it's kind of like new year new me I absolutely hate that term but realistically I do feel like a lot of us are like as a collective going to be 100% not 100% but very very different um when it comes to the new year not putting up with half the things we would have put up with at one point but yeah that is what I have for you guys I hope you like this reading if you do please give it a like share subscribe uh personal readings are in the description box below if you guys are interested in um pop-up readings I do pop-up question readings on my Instagram so you can feel free to follow me there as well as I do giveaways there once a week so you guys can follow me on Instagram uh, my personal Instagram for any of you guys that are wanting to start a business YouTube just want to get to know me on a more personal level or just want to watch me on the journey of starting my next brand feel free to follow that otherwise i hope you guys have a beautiful day thank you guys so much for watching today and take care my loves bye